Right, yeah, we're rolling, yeah, go. Right, okay, here we are. It's, uh, we're here on St. Patrick's Day. Right here at the Big Snow Festival. I'm standing here with Eddie Hallowell. Um, Eddie, thanks for taking the time to talk to us. Uh, obviously, St. Patrick's Day at the moment. I think that Highlands is quite a uh, special place for you to go. Oh, yeah. What makes it so special? Obviously, yeah, I mean, I've just come from Ireland, actually. I was in Cork last night, and it would be in St. Last night, obviously, was St. Paddy's Eve. You know, it's the Irish uh, day out. It would be a look love to sort of party and especially on you know, something like an occasion like today so yeah it's great to play but I also must say coming up here to the snow uh, big snow festival it's a little tiring because of a journey sort of flying to Barcelona with no kit from last night coming up here like a three or four hour drive up into the mountains and uh, yeah, it's uh, no rest for wicked <laughs> indeed indeed and um, I mean are you a fan of snow sports yourself? To be honest, I try to avoid the uh, cold at all costs. I'm, I'm a bit of I like the sunshine, so I've never been to resorts like this. But I, I'd like to do the ski, but I can't really have the cold. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I mean, this is the launch event of Big Snow Festival. It's his first year. Um, you know, you must have played for a lot of launch uh, events uh, for other brands and stuff like that. What's been the most memorable one for you that has been a launch? Uh, I can't really think of a launch. There's been a lot of different events, you know. It's, it's great to see so many new promoters doing different things. And um, I can't really think of it one that's so still out uh, especially, but it's great to be involved in launch and seeing the scene being moved forward by new and upcoming promoters. And this is obviously a very different concept of event to the usual stuff. You've got skiing in the day and then obviously clubbing by the night. Um, do you think that's a, a new move towards giving clubs something different to their living experience? And how do you think it works? Yeah, I mean, as I say, I've not got a lot of knowledge on the sort of ski, ski resorts, but um, it was a little, it's, it's a little different from what I was expecting because obviously it's a more of a cool environment. So I was actually, when, when I saw it on the flyer, I was expecting it on the stage and it was uh, all the snow around. Not a great deal of snow back in the road. You have to apparently take a cable yeah, car to go to the right hand side. So I, I was a little gutted to be honest, because I thought I'd be able to get a snow, but um, yeah, it's a little difficult. Hopefully, uh, next time we sort of do something. Because I think they have got a stage up. Yeah, well, hopefully, it's going to get a little bit of in the cold. Now, on, on the stage tonight, you've just come away from that, so you can't be accepted. That's what you're saying. You were playing around with a little pad there. Um, what was that that you were using? What did it do? Project, we decided to put more effort into the production and make it into more of a, more of a special event for clubbers. And I've sort of witnessed how visuals and audio, you know, have a great impact on the crowd. And I really want to sort of evolve that in the future. We're currently working on some new events for this uh, coming year. We'll hopefully get those out to be more shortly. What is the, for you? Your Eddie Halloween experience has gone from DJ to magic into your, your editing. You've got online uh, content with your ebook. What's your next thing for the Eddie experience? What comes after it? Uh, to be honest, just, you know, the music world, the DJ world is evolving at such a rapid rate. And I'm one of those people who really embrace sort of technology and want to get, get involved. I'm, I think, you know, we just move along with the scene because it's really, it's really, really very, very fast. And I think I. I Enjoy it. I like new technology, so I, I feel so fortunate to be into that. So this is what you, what you enjoy. So I think it's very important. Whatever you're doing, you've got to enjoy what you do. Because I think some some perhaps DJs might not like technology or change. And if, if you're not really enjoying what you're doing, you've got to you've got to ask yourself why you're doing what you're doing. Because it's better for me. It's the most important thing. Because when you get the, the response and feedback from the crowd and you. Inside, and it's great, as I say, it's great to see the scene moving as it is. Uh, and in 
terms of your technology, you obviously are not limited to what the guys at Pioneer are doing at the moment. Uh, and they've just obviously come out with the CDJ 2000, which you did not show. And now the, uh, the new DJM 2000. But for you as a DJ, what, what are you using at home at the moment? Are you trying out the new Pioneer stuff? What, what, what's your setup like? I have got various pieces of kit. Because obviously our Pioneer, you know, we're sending the sample products to us. We've been testing it at CDJ 2000. So over the past like, year or so, was the DJM 2000. So there's no one particular setup is constantly evolving and changing, but I mean at the home I use two levers and, and controlling different things. I've got various different mixes, various different sort of mini controllers and different software programs. So it, it really, as I said, because things are evolving at the rapid rate, you roll the clock back five or six years, your setup is pretty static, it stayed as it was, but now things are changing so fast. So things in your setup could be changing. To month or even week to week. It depends on, to say, I want to sort of change, so I don't say that's what I'm using for the next year. I want yeah. to keep embracing new things. Yeah. So it's, but at, yeah, at the minute, obviously, we're working with a new DJM 2000, that's what I've been playing around with and stuff. And I've just actually, before I set up, I've sent it back to Pioneer because it's a sample product to get up and that, Again, that's changing as, as, as it evolves. One thing that hasn't really changed that, that you've always wanted to is you managed to successfully integrate Spanchi with dance music, which wasn't really, it's never really been a too common thing. Who were your key influences when you started Spanchi? Who were you looking uh, Going back, I always used to sort of follow the DMT championships and uh, really was into all sorts of scratch burners and Cuba and the guys that I was following. And sort of adapting what they did and putting it into the music that I enjoyed playing. And, and, you know, so it's two different scenes, but. I've always loved the technical aspect of DJing and tried to, tried to sort of, I could never dream, you know, playing music and so slow, but I've tried to adapt the skills that those guys use and move it into the music I play. It's obviously a lot more faster and kicking, but yeah, it's just it's just something that's a uh, passion that started from when I started DJing. And if there are aspiring DJs out there wanting to incorporate um, scratching into dance music, what would be your key advice to them to make them to give them the advice to do it successfully? Yeah. Um, basically, hunt around and find a bit of a kit that you're, you're most comfortable with. But, um, do you know, there's that much stuff out there, uh, it's a minefield. So, it's when I when I go back to song, when I started out, you, you, your choices were do you get Belgian turntables or direct drive decks? You know, so that was the choice then. Obviously, you were, you were recommended to get 12 tens. Now, now you were uh, a song but you can't go wrong with you know, Pioneer equipment. You can sort of use those, whether you use them as controllers or you use them as a, a, a hardware product to play CDs from. They cover all angles, whether you play from SD card, USB key, um, you know, pen drive. So I'd, I'd say for say, you'll get a lot of mileage out of that stuff. So if you, you can do whatever you want when it comes to scratching on the CDJ 2000s or Mark 3s, whichever. So definitely you Pioneer. Thank you very much for taking the time to talk to us. Great set tonight. Thank and I uh, hope you have a great few moments in San Francisco. It's going to be another tiring one, I'll tell you. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Bye.